Hi everyone and welcome to part 28 of my GTA San Andreas Special Vehicle Guide. Now this is a very serious vehicle indeed. This is the Comprehensive Proof Box Fill. Now this is an extremely difficult vehicle to get and you're going to need a ridiculous amount of patience. First thing you need to do is get yourself to this location just by the fire station. It's right next door to the dirty safe house garage. You've got to also make sure that you don't go too near this region otherwise you'll activate the next cutscene. Also, you must have a Molotov or a Parachute to proceed. And yes, it actually takes the cake, as being the first 5 star rating that I'll give a vehicle in the Special Vehicle Guide. Now the method to actually get this vehicle is actually surprisingly simple, but really difficult to pull off, and you'll see why. So the first thing you need to do is get yourself a fire truck. It doesn't matter if it's the one with the ladder or the one with the hose pipe, it makes no difference. Just get yourself any old fire truck, and you're going to drive to this location here. Well, I'm just going to drive to the viewpoint, which is where you can see the box fill and the comprehensive proof FCR 900s, and I'm going to show you what we have to do. This is the part of the mission where the vehicles are comprehensive proof. If you activate the cutscene at any cost, the vehicles will be normal again. What you need to do is you need to do a jump out of fire truck push. And what I mean by that is you drive the fire truck, jump out, the fire truck will fly down and hit the box fill down the road into the fence near the naval base. But as you can see, you've got to be really accurate. So it's like 10 pin bowling, but with a fire truck instead. So you need to go from this point here and as fast as you can, drive the fire truck down and then curve round between the buildings jump out just before you go over the cliff and the fire truck will keep going with its own momentum hopefully it will hit the box fill down to the fence and after every single attempt you'll have to get yourself a new fire truck because the fire truck that you ejected yourself from will always be in the danger zone and the danger zone is the area where the cutscene can be activated and if you activate the cutscene you have to restart the whole mission so here's an example jump out See what happens. Yup, I have to restart because now the box feels at an awkward angle. But the best tip I can give you is you need to try and hit the box fill from this sort of angle and then it will kind of go straight down the hill. Whereas if you did what I did and you kind of rotate it, then it gets harder and harder to push it. And also the bikes are very solid as well, so they will stop the fire truck with ease. Right, here is another attempt. Let's see what happens now. I now have to restart the whole mission. Ah, we have another attempt. You definitely need an awful lot of patience for this one, I'm telling you. Right, just to make it really clear, every time you nudge the boxville in the right direction, you are one step closer to getting it. So you can just hit it as many times as you want, and eventually it will go down the hill. As long as you don't activate the cutscene, the box fill will always stay in the same place every time. So, that's another useful tip. Even if you hit the box fill and it just moves slightly, just keep going until you get it down the hill. But sometimes, when you get it to an awkward position like I did first time, it's irretrievable because the bikes are solid so you can't get the fire truck to hit the box fill at the right angle. It's really difficult to explain, but I'm sure after some experience you'll understand what I'm trying to say. My my, another attempt. I've lost count now how many times I've tried. But let's see what happens. Perfect, perfect, perfect. That is the best shot I've ever done trying to get the comprehensive proof box fill. In my last video that I made about this vehicle, which was quite a while back, I had to nudge it like 10 times to get it down the road. This time I smash it once. Wow, that was incredible. Rewind that, check the angle I hit that box fill, because that was as spot on as you could possibly get. And the next stage is getting to the box fill without activating the cutscene, which is really dangerous, because if you activate the cutscene, it's over. You have to do all that again. So I would go on this road here, and then kind of go down via the police station and then go under the bridge, scrape the fence near the naval base, and you'll be able to bypass the danger zone. 
so if you did manage to get the Boxville out of the danger zone, congratulations, you are virtually three quarters there to obtaining it. Yeah, I just went to go and find a random car, so now I'm casually driving to the location, so I'm going to go this route here. I might even just take the grass as a shortcut, because you can. So here's the police station, so just go underneath this bridge over here. And interestingly enough, if you watched my special vehicle introduction video about maximizing vehicle storage, you'll know that police station very well. And here we go. I'm going to go right near the fence of the naval base, because this will bypass the danger zone. You've got to be extremely careful. I kid you not. So get yourself to the box fill, and now you have to very carefully get the box fill back to your safe house garage. You must not enter the danger zone. Even in the Boxville, you'll end up at the next part of the mission and you'll lose it forever. So I need to really carefully get the Boxville past this car as close to the fence as I possibly can. Stay right next to the fence and then you'll guarantee not to activate the next cutscene. Because believe me, if you activate the next cutscene now, you'll probably want to kill yourselves. And I'm not joking, the frustration would just get to your head so badly. So I'm just going to go back the way I came, which is under the bridge, near the police station. Obviously it's comprehensive proof, so you don't have to worry about crashing. Now what you need to do, is you need to get either a parachute, which you can find at the tallest building, which I got during the comprehensive proof merit video, or you can use a Molotov, because you have to blow this vehicle up. And not only that, you have to kill yourself as well to fail the mission. Because if you blow this up and you don't kill yourself, you can't actually restore it in the garage. So it's really important. You've got to do all these things to actually preserve the properties of the vehicle itself. It took me quite a few experimental attempts, but you definitely have to kill yourself and destroy the vehicle. best way to do this is either using a parachute or a Molotov. I'm going to use a parachute because I'm a fan of the parachute glitch because you don't have to make yourself catch fire or better yet any of your surrounding vehicles to catch fire because if you don't have fireproof vehicles next to you then they'll catch fire anyway. Well another trick I can tell you is leave the door of the box fill open so when it catches fire you can very quickly get inside it or you could just simply lower your health enough that the explosion of the box fill would kill you anyway but it's so much more guaranteed if you just get inside it when it's on fire. Then it's an instant death, instant kill. No questions asked. Because if this blows up and you don't die, well, you're screwed. <laughs> okay, right, I need to get in, I need to get in. Come on. <laughs> you just gotta love that scream. Well, anyway, even though you lose all your weapons, just drive back to the garage and you'll find your comprehensive root box fill in perfect state and it will feel so good that you managed to get the first five star difficulty from my special vehicle guide for GTA San Andreas. It's really an incredible journey this. This game is over 10 years old yet it still provides this sort of entertainment. Very few modern games can do that. I'm really being serious, this game really has something very special to it. Obviously I'm a big fan of the Nintendo series, you know, things like Pokemon, Zelda, but for a human based game that doesn't involve any magic or any weird stuff or any crazy imagination, for any human based game to give this much nostalgia as the old GTA games is really something else. But anyway, I am very, very excited to try the new GTA games and hunt for special vehicles in those games. I'm sure they're going to be more impressive than this one. So yep, I drove all the way from the hospital just to prove to you guys that my comprehensive proof box fill is still in the garage. And if you did it, then major congrats. This is a serious, serious trophy. Because not only is it fully comprehensive proof, but it's definitely the most difficult vehicle we've obtained so far in this guide. And since I don't have any weapons, I can't really show you the properties, but I'm sure you can take my word for it, as I always tell the truth about these vehicles every time. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, and take care. Bye.